Where are Bill and Jean going? Karen leave too? Yeah. Is mom clean? She's moderately clean. Moderately? You don't like moderately, then let's say tolerably. Was she clean or not? Back off. I'm nervous. Oh, Christ, Ivy, not today. I have to tell her, don't I? We're leaving for New York tomorrow. I don't think it's a good idea for you and Charles to take this any further. Where's this coming from? There's a lot of fish in the sea. Surely you can rule out the one single man in the world you're related to. I love the man I'm related to. Fuck love. Crap shit love. People can convince themselves they love a painted rock. <sighs> Looks great. What is it? Catfish. Bottom fears. My favorite. You're nearly 50 years old, Ivy. You can't go to New York. You'll break a hip. Here. Eat your catfish. Oh, you're infuriating. I'm not the one fucking my cousin. I've lived here year in, year out, hoping against hope someone would come into my life. Don't get all Carson McCullers on me. Now wipe that tragic look off your face and eat some catfish. Howdy, Mom. What's howdy about? Look, catfish for lunch. Jonna, you hungry? Ivy, you should smile like me. Mom needs her lunch, please. I'm not hungry. You didn't eat today, you didn't eat anything yesterday. I'm not hungry. You're eating. Do what I say. Everyone, do what I say. May I ask why neither of you is dressed? It's not like we're sitting here naked, right? We're dressed, or should we be dressed up? Right, because you're coming over for fish. I'll eat in my room. That's mm -hmm. fine, thank you. Yeah. <sighs> eat. No. Eat it, Mom. Eat it. No. Eat it, you fucker. Eat that catfish. Go to hell. That doesn't cut any fucking ice with me. Eat the fucking fish. Mom, I have something to talk to you about. No, you don't. Barbara? No, you don't. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Please. What's to talk about? Mom. Forget it. Eat the fucking fish. I'm not hungry. Eat the fish, bitch. Barbara. OK, fine. Fuck it. Do what you want. I have to tell you something. Ivy's a lesbian. Barbara. <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Did you eat your fish? Barbara, Barbara be it. quiet now. Mom, please, this is important. Eat your fish, eat your fish, eat your fish, eat your fish, eat your fish. What the fuck? I have something to say. Are we breaking shit now, huh? I can break shit. Hey, see, everybody can break some shit. Charles and I. You want to break shit with me, motherfucker? Charles and I. John, we got a little spill in here. Barbara, stop it. Mom, Charles and I. Little Charles. Barbara, got to say little Charles or she's not gonna know who you're talking about. Little Charles and I. Little Charles and I. Little are... Charles and you are brother and sister. I know that. Boy, what? No, listen. Little Charles and I. I've always known that. I told you, nobody slips anything by me. Mom, don't listen. I knew the whole time Bev and Maddie Faye were carrying on. Charlie should have known, too, if he hadn't been smoking all that grass. It's the pills talking. Pills can't talk. Your father tore himself up over it 30 some odd years, but Beverly wouldn't be Beverly if he hadn't had something to brood about. Mom, what are you talking about? Better you girls know now. Now you're older. You never know when somebody might need a kidney. Why in God's name did you tell me this? Hey, why do you care? <laughs> You're monsters. Oh, come on now. Monsters! Who's the injured party here? We couldn't let Ivy run off with little Charles. It just wouldn't be right. She'll be back. <laughs> She's a sweet girl, Ivy. I love her to death, but she isn't strong. 
not like you. Or me. <laughs> you knew about Daddy and Maddie Faye? Oh, sure. Sure. But I never told them I knew. Your father knew. He knew I knew, but... We never talked about it. I, I chose the higher ground. But if I had a chance there at the end, I, I would have, I would have told him, I hope this isn't about little Charles, because you know, I know all about that. You know, if I reached him over to the motel, I would have said, you'd be better off if you quit sulking about this ancient history. You know. What motel? I, I called over there on Monday after I got into the safety deposit box, but it was too late. Checked out. How'd you know where he was? Well, no. He said I could call him over to the Country Squire Motel. He left a note. Yeah, and I did call over there on Monday. After you got your money out of your safety deposit box. We had an arrangement. You have to understand. For people like your father and me, who never had any money, ever, as kids, people from our generation, that money is important. If you could have stopped Daddy from killing himself, you wouldn't have needed to get into your safety deposit box. Well, hindsight's always 2020, isn't it? Did the note say he was going to kill himself? Mom? If I had my wits about me, maybe I, I might have done it different, but I was... Your father and I both, we were... You were both fucked up. You were fucked up. You are fucked up. You better understand this, you smug little ingrate. There's at least one reason why Beverly killed himself, and that is you. You think there's any way in hell that he would have done what he did if you were still here? No. Just him and me. In this house, alone, in the dark, abandoned, wasted lifetimes, devoted to your care and comfort. Oh, yes, you stick that knife of judgment in me. Go ahead. But make no mistake, his blood is just as much on your hands as it is on mine. He did this, though. This is his doing, not ours. Jesus, can you imagine anything more cruel to make me responsible? Why? Just to weaken me, make me prove my character. So no, I waited. I waited to get into that safety deposit box. I would have waited anyway. You want to show who's stronger, ma'am? Nobody's stronger than me. God damn it, when nothing is left, when everything's gone, disappeared. I'll be here. Who's stronger now, you son of a bitch? You're right, Mom. You're the strong one. Barbara! Oh, Barb? Barbara! 